Hey, how you guys doing? I got some exciting news that just came out today here on Monday. Uh, I have been making oblivious videos. Um, it is definitely important for, uh, for my channel for you guys to know this. Um, Black Magic Design is totally rewriting uh, DaVinci Resolve 14 uh, beta, which is available right now. What's that? Uh, what that means, and they claim it's going to make DaVinci Resolve as much as 10 times faster on your current hardware. And uh, that is really some exciting news as well as um, they also acquired a company Fairlight for audio, which is gonna be fully integrated into um, DaVinci Resolve as well. And I think that's the part that, um, that needs some work, of course, for um, color correction. It's almost the best available out there. Uh, some of the editing and ex uh, especially audio needs some work, which now they incorporate, uh, they can be incorporating with version 14. And that's what I've always said in the past. It is important that software companies um, over time rewrite some of their very old software to take advantage of new technologies and even run better on older hardware. And I've even said this with, uh, this is something that um, Apple did with Final Cut Pro 10. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like it, but they did some very quick um, updates. Uh, I think as many as 19 or even more than 19 updates very quickly. And um, optimize it for OpenCL. They tend to uh, choose uh, AMD video cards, but maybe in the future they're going to use NVIDIA. And it's so powerful, so quick, background rendering, export. Um, and I th it's even faster, I believe, than um, um, Premiere Pro. And I do believe Premiere Pro does need to be uh, perhaps rewritten as well. I, I not getting indications that they necessarily do it. Of course, they do continue upgrades, but I think it's over the... Um, perhaps some of the older software. Um, of course, they're kind of worried about, like I said, uh, I mentioned before, that if they make it um, too totally new or redo the interface too much, then they're going to kind of um, throw off their current customers, obviously, what, what they don't want to do. And I even uh, seen that before where people say, well, um, Premiere Pro doesn't work good on Apple, um, you know, hardware, uh, whether it be the Mac Pro, uh, iMac, uh, MacBook Pros, or whatever. And I always point out, well, look at what Apple has done with its own rewritten software, uh, Final Cut Pro 10, uh, Logic 10. It simply screams even on their older hardware, which goes back to good developing, um, which is what we need. So that, that's what I've said. I keep on saying, well, why doesn't Adobe make better use of their software on, you know, Apple hardware? They can do it. I mean, uh, Apple's using exactly the same, you know, um, Xcode to develop their apps for, you know, their native apps on their own hardware. Adobe could do the very same thing, but, you know, um, I could go on and on about that. But like I said, this is about DaVinci Resolve, newly rewritten um, back end um, version 14, um, adding Fairlight Audio Engine also incorporated. You can download the beta now, which I've just done uh, earlier and try it out for yourself. And uh, keep in mind, this is beta, uh, but once they come out with an official release, we should see more stability. But um, as always, Blackmagic Design doing wonderful things with DaVinci Resolve.